okay. On point again. Make your argument. Celeste's account. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What right. do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No. No way. Not a chance. Okay, hold on. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? What he said just now was really odd. Okay. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific track? I got it! He it matched the one the cult- So, what your- The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I- I don't even have a tracksuit. He's exercising so- I have a white tracksuit, personally. No? Okay. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he- What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that track- It matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. First of all, we know where he was on his way, so next week, why did he choose? What do you mean, the I got it! He picked, it matched the one the cult- So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit track is black! I, I don't even have, cause exercising- I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if nah. you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? <sighs> what he just said without even realizing it? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. First of all, we know where Chihiro was. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I, I don't even have his exercising. I have a white tracksuit, personally. No? Okay. Shoot! Okay. Hold on. Fire drive.
Sorry about that, everybody. I had to use the restroom. <laughs> Whew. My break between last recording session and this recording session, in which I was like, hey, I need to get a drink of water. Huh, it has caught up with me. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, uh, Chihiro was heading. Yeah. He was on his way to go exercise. Right. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is... The only one I haven't shot is yours. The same blue tracksuit as... No, that's wrong. Oh. That's what I get for trying to do the new memory Hold thing. A second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... She never said anything about the jacket's color. Oh! I'm stupid. Nobody said the blue. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you... You just... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. <gasps> Mondo! You didn't! Did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Cherry? Are... Are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony... It was in a duffel bag. Yeah. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly... You couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Mondo, why did you kill little Chi? It would appear you dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it, to put them on edge. That's right. However... Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. Do I hate him? The way he was acting, the way he talked. Dot dot dot. There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Oh my god! He did. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. You didn't notice such a tiny detail? It's because she's Sherlock Holmes, man. It's what she does. Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Yeah. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I... I... I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. 
This is a false accusation! It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> my time has nearly come. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Dot dot dot. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then... Um... Here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. <laughs> I got it! We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. But you can't break them unless you know the flaw. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Handbooks get broken? There's only one way. I got it! You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah! You remember that? Uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is. <gasps> dun dun dun! When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! I flippin' knew it! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown Way. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Wow, interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. Because somebody had taken theirs to the sauna recently. And it couldn't have been Taka because he was naked. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. 
quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Whoa, seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... <clears throat> It was Mondo. He had all of his clothes on. Here's my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh, no, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. I did? Oh god! Broken handbook, Jerry's handbook, card reader. Oh god! I have three bolts to switch Let's from. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words... If Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Okay. See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, you broke your own, in other words, if then that proves that what Well, my goddamn handbook works just... No, that's wrong. Mondo, the handbook you have right now, is it really yours? Oh, he has Leon's. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall, isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is... I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. But if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a gray area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. What's wrong, bro? Oh, shit. Come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. He's trying to take a screenshot. It freaks out. Said is wrong. You made it all up. Okay. Then why don't we look back on this case more that way? Every 